everybody, Christina here. I, um, hmm, I'm excited because tomorrow night I'm hosting my first Bunko and I'm super pumped about it because don't tell anybody, but I don't remember how to play, <laughs> but I bought the game. So, um, there's instructions. So everybody should be okay. Um, but tonight I wanted to show you guys this new amazing product that Pampered Chef came out with. And it's called the quick cooker. Dun, dun, dun. I can't sing. You guys know this. Okay, so I'm going to bring the whole little robot thing over here. Um, and I want you guys to know something real quick. Hi, everybody. Hello. Um, I want to tell you guys, I know you all think I'm like this amazing cook. No. Even though I did not go to college, <laughs> I do know how to read and I do know how to follow a recipe. <laughs> so that is what makes me uh, an amazing cook. So I just wanna share that with you before I bring this quick cooker out, okay? Okay, so um, this is Pampered Chef's, let's just say rock star of the fall selling season. The quick cooker, isn't it pretty? We should name the quick cooker. Not the quick cooker though, but we should like give it a real name like Loretta or Debbie. <laughs> I'm joking. Well, I'm not really joking. I think we should really name it, but not the quick cooker because that could get a little dicey. Um, you guys, so let me turn this so you guys can see it. So has anybody ever used a pressure cooker or dare I say something called the Instapot? Mm hmm Hi, Sandy, how are you? Roll Tide, friend, roll Tide. Um, <laughs> okay, so this is Pamper Chef's version of a pressure cooker, okay? Hey, Deb, how are you? Hey, Christy. So this is like super cool, you guys. So do you ever forget to take the chicken out of the freezer or the meat out of the freezer? Your director calls it Queenie. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I need it like, I need a simple name for it. And I can't do R2D2. My husband yells at me every time. I can't ever say it. There's like certain words in life I just cannot say. Um, but anyway, this is Pam Burchaff's version of um, a, uh, a pressure cooker, okay? But there's a few really cool features. And I'm telling you guys this, coming from somebody that has never owned a pressure cooker, okay? So when I tell you I am new to this whole entire game, I'm, I'm not even going to like play around, okay? Because I know there's a lot of you out there that probably could work this better than me. But let me tell you something. Pampered Chef is pretty amazing <laughs> because I feel like they made a quick cooker. Look, I can't even say the name. Let's call it Rhonda. Is there any, are there any Rondas out there? I don't want to offend anybody. Maybe we should call him Rhonda. Oh, maybe it's him. Anyway, we need to come up with a name, okay? R2D2. Yeah, um, I can't ever remember that. Sarah, I know. You're a huge Star Wars fan. That's awesome. I am not, so I can't remember. Okay, but let me tell you, Pamper Chef came out with like, I feel like this is the quick cooker recipe book for dummies. Uh, AKA Christina Maniscalco. Okay, so I'm gonna make the easiest recipe tonight in this thing, okay? So this book should come with your quick cooker. If you wanna, or Quincy, ooh, I like Quincy. Hmm. Maybe we should just call it Todd or something. That reminds me of Christmas vacation. Do you guys notice that my mind just goes places sometimes and just down a rabbit hole and just sometimes doesn't come back? Anyway, yes, the books here. <laughs> you guys, tonight I am gonna make chicken. There, it's three ingredients, literally. Let's count the water too, so four ingredients. I'm gonna do chicken, salsa, and rice all at the same time in about 20 minutes. Do you guys dare me? I mean, I could read. Remember, I could read a recipe. So this is um, Pam Burchett's version of a pressure cooker. Let me tell you, yes, unicorn moments, Colleen. So there are a few things that I have learned why our uh, Rhonda, or Todd, whatever we should call it, um, why it's a little bit better than the other ones out there on the market, okay? And I'm not gonna bash 
anybody's pressure cooker, okay? But I will tell you, for people like me that have no clue what the heck they're doing, um, these things that I'm gonna tell you are pretty genius and you don't have to be a rocket scientist, okay? So first thing, I have been watching a couple YouTube videos about pressure cookers. Didn't really gain a whole lot. The only thing I did gain is that most regular pressure cookers, like the one from the 20th century, I don't know, long time ago that were metal, they have like the little release valve in the middle and like you were scared it was gonna blow. See, my mom never really cooked like that when I was younger, so I never even knew what the heck a pressure cooker was until the, dare I say it again, the Instapot came out and I really wasn't a fan of getting one because I was like, I wouldn't even know what to do with it, okay? And plus, I love my Rock Croc way too much. <laughs> I felt like I was cheating. But then this thing came out. What's the water test? Okay, Alona. Oh, okay, somebody. Are you talking to somebody else? Because I didn't even talk about a water test. There is a water test you can run and make sure your, your quick cooker, aka Rhonda, aka Todd, is working correctly. But I used it yesterday. What did I make yesterday? I don't even remember. See? Mm -hmm. Oh, I made chicken wings the other day. That was really good. Okay, so our release valve, talking about the pressure thingy, um, is back here, and there's this button that releases it. So I actually turn my uh, oven hood on, and if I do need to release it, um, and it's not going to release naturally, um, I put it under there, and I just press the, bu press the button, and the, the, um, the pressure comes out there so look my hands I'm, I'm safe over here but like a lot of those other ones it was like in the middle you have to like hit it with a spoon i was scared you guys scared all right so then the other really cool thing that i like it kind of looks like a microwave because my microwave up here has a little dial this little guy has a dial so it's super easy to use so literally we're gonna throw this stuff in it and we're gonna even make rice at the same time. You guys, I'm telling you, I am not a rocket scientist, but if I could figure this little guy out, so can you. Okay, by the way, did I mention if you host your own party this month, you can get it for 60% off. That means it would be around $90, and that is a steal for this guy, because like literally, it could have its own room in my house, okay? Like this thing is like, ah. Oh. Okay. Ready? So look, all these recipes, by the way, we tried this one really quick. I've heard the, the cheddar broccoli risotto with chicken is delicious. Um, and then um, I did make a cheesecake. That was super fun. I was very scared, but it turned out great. Um, I can't wait till like winter because I can make like all these yummy soups and stuff. I love jambalaya. I heard we're coming out with a jambalaya recipe. You guys, you can proof um, dough and make bread in here. Well, you can't make the bread. You can proof the dough and then throw it in your oven. All right. Um, but wait, I wanted to show you this other recipe really quick. There is a recipe, chicken parm pasta. It was delicious. We made it at our, at our um, recipe night. Okay. So then what's really cool is this book. It literally has these three easy ways to get started. That's my kind of deal right there. Hey friend, how are you? Are you feeling better, Leslie? Okay, so um, beans without soaking. So those of you that soak your beans overnight, you could literally do it in like 20, 30 minutes or something like that. Um, you can do your hard boiled eggs. And then this is what we're gonna make because it says simple and that's my kind of language. Okay, simple salsa chicken. I heard it's also a Weight Watcher recipe, so we'll, I mean, I'm adding rice, so there's that. Okay, so literally, there's five um, five things we have to do. Season, oh shoot, I didn't see, look, I already failed. <laughs> we have to season the chicken with some of our favorite taco seasoning, which AKA means our uh, Southwest seasoning from Pampered Chef, because you should not be using taco seasoning because the amount of sodium is on, in that stuff is ridiculous. Listen to this, ready? It like sings to you. Okay, so the lid is off. Um, there is a little rack in here so that we are gonna use this because I'm gonna put 
Um, you can buy all these, well, not all of these, but two accessories for Magic Mike. <laughs> My husband might get jealous, <laughs> Lori. Um, you can buy accessories for this, which is just two things. You can get a mini um, cheesecake pan, like a springform pan, or you can also get this ceramic pot with a lid. That's what we're gonna use to make our rice, okay? So just give me a second here because I didn't season my chicken. So what we're gonna do, um, what did you bake? <laughs> Girl, that's coming, I'll show you. I made a Kentucky butter cake and I also have some cinnamon um, baked apple cider donuts made in the donut pan. Yes, and I've been eating them all. So thanks, girl. I totally forgot they were even there. Okay, so I have two big pieces of chicken in here. You guys, so there's all these different settings. There's sear, steam, slow cook, proof, chicken poultry, beef, pork, fish, seafood, stock and soup, white rice, brown rice, whole grains, beans, stew, chili, and dessert. You guys, like that... I mean, that's all talk in my language because literally you just turn it to the setting and you hit start. I mean, if I, I told you, if I can figure this out, you can too. All right, I'm gonna do two uh, tablespoons, right? Yeah, two tablespoons, which also means the lid. So the lid is actually two tablespoons. I'm just gonna pour it in there and stir it around. That's me um, seasoning my chicken. You guys, you can also put your frozen chicken in here. One of my friends um, posted that she forgot to take her meat, her um, beef out of the freezer. So she um, threw it in there frozen and sure enough, she made some, some dinner. Okay, so I have my chicken. It's all seasoned with my seasoning, all right? So this pot, you guys, this comes out and then, um, this is gonna go in in a second. Okay, place the chicken in the inner pot of a quick cooker. I feel like we should call it Rhonda, I'm just saying. And cover with one cup of chunky salsa. Okay, you guys, so that's the other part I might have failed at. This is actually restaurant style because we love restaurant style salsa. Um, you could totally make your own salsa, but this is what I'm gonna use, okay? Um, so no judging. We're gonna do one cup, which is about what's left in here. So I'm like super stoked that that worked out for me. All right. So I'm actually meal prepping, you guys. So this is actually gonna be my meal for like the next few days. So when this is done, I'm gonna eat it tonight and then I'm gonna add a bunch of veggies to it when it's all done. Cause I haven't figured all that out yet. So I might just steam it in my new micro cooker <laughs> or just stir in some chicken or I mean some spinach or something like that. Okay, so I put the, let me show you this. How do I do this? Here we go. I have salsa, okay? Okay. Do you guys like my little stand there? Yeah, I gave up on my little tripod. I just used my, my flower holder. Works great. Okay, we're gonna throw this in here because like I said, I'm gonna make rice at the same time. You guys, this is like, I can't even. Oh, the butter cake recipe. I found it on um, on the website. Hold on, I'll, t I'll tell you in one second. Okay, so I'm gonna take this ceramic pot. Wait, I feel like I'm missing a step. Oh, the holder. See, look, I almost failed again. Okay, hold on, let me go get the holder. Hold on, please. Okay, the holder's in my office, because of course that's where it would be, so hold on. in their office just me okay all right so look this is the holder we're gonna put that in there okay and then we're gonna put okay hold on we're gonna put the rice in here 
So we have a cup of rice, basamati rice. I have no idea if that's how you say it or not. A cup of water. I'm gonna do just a little tiny bit of salt. Cause don't you always add salt when you make rice? I don't know. All right, we're gonna give us a little stir. You guys see where I'm going with this? Okay, there's the lid that it comes with. We're gonna put that on here. Okay, we're gonna, I feel like I should have done this first. Here we go. Put this down in here. And I really don't want any of my paper chip friends telling me I'm doing it all wrong. Look, I'm very touchy about this whole thing. Okay, now, we're gonna let it sing to us again. I love that. Okay, so all my paper chip friends told me you have to make sure these two things match up. Looks good. All right, that's good. Everything is golden, it's blinking. All right, then it says lock the lid. We did that. Choose the poultry. Yes. All right, setting and press start. I'm sorry, that's it. We're done. Okay, so then it says when the timer is up, press cancel. Press the steam release button to manually release the pressure. Chop the chicken and serve with lettuce wraps or on tortillas or your fa with your favorite toppings. So I might make myself like a little rice bowl. So I'm just gonna put this over here. So now this is gonna go in a circle and now it's gonna build the pressure cause that's how it cooks. Get it? Pressure cooker, just saying. So the quick cooker, it's gonna build the pressure. Um, as soon as it's done building, it takes about 15 minutes and then it's gonna cook. And then my dinner is gonna be done. Okay, so look, I wanna show you this. So like black beans, black eyed peas, chickpeas, normally those things you have to soak overnight and then cook them forever or something like that. I mean, I never do those things. I normally get the can and now that my doctor's like, you need to stay away from sodium, I mean, the salsa's in there, but whatever. Um, you know, you don't wanna eat as much canned items. You wanna buy as much fresh as you can. Um, but look at this. So. If we were just gonna cook rice, four minutes. If we were just gonna cook quinoa, three minutes. Once the pressure builds. Um, couscous, two minutes. You got time for this. Um, all right, what else? Squash, 10 minutes. Artichokes, 25 minutes. But imagine you have to roast those things in the oven forever. Broccoli, one minute, hello. Um, so Brussels sprouts, four minutes. Um, so it tells you everything, you guys. How flipping cool. What's the what's the tip? Oh, I missed it. Also add a little water too because that's how you build the pressure. <gasps> Did I miss the water? Uh oh. Did I not follow the instructions? <laughs> it just says a cup of water. It just says a cup of salsa. <laughs> Alright, should I should I stop it and add water? I'm so confused. I'm good. Okay. Thank you, Michelle. Okay. Um, so the other things that are in here, of course, my dogs are going to start barking. All the meat, all the fish, turkey, and then of course, recipes. You guys, I mean ribs. You can make ribs in here in um, total of an hour. A total of an hour. Normally you have to ro like roast those in the oven forever. Okay. So that is my little take on the quick cooker. The salsa is the liquid. Thank you, friends. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so now I want to show you guys these donuts because they're amazing. Okay, let me move this guy back. You know, okay, here we go. I'm not even going to tell you. So the donuts, you guys, they're on our website. If you go to pamperchef.biz forward slash Maniscalco Kitchen, you can find all of these recipes. Okay, so baked apple cider donuts. Hello. Um, I haven't been brave enough yet to make these um, baked chocolate donuts because they um, have sour cream and it looks like I'm just going to eat them all. So I'm not even going to make those. Mm -mm, it's not happening. All right. And then um, I made the Kentucky Derby cake, uh, the Kentucky Derby cake, the Kentucky butter cake. Um, you guys, I found it on a, a blog called Cookies and Cups. Okay. And then just 
Um, if you Google cookies and cups and then Kentucky butter cake, you should get the recipe, okay? And by the way, I um, my buttermilk, uh, the one I used last time was bad. Well, the last time I used it, it was good. But I didn't have any buttermilk, so I just used almond milk. So I hope it comes out okay. It looks like it's all right. So I actually, last time I made it, the cake was like really, really, um, it made it really full. Um, it's the easiest recipe ever, you guys. You add all the ingredients to a bowl, you mix it all up, and you bake it, and then you poke holes, and you mix together this butter, sugar, vanilla, and mm -hmm, some water, and um, you cook it until it, it doesn't boil. Don't boil it. But right before it's ready to boil. Um, so Christy, go to my website, pamperchef.biz forward slash Maniscalco Kitchen, and type in the search bar, apple cider donuts. It'll pop right up, okay? Um, so then you poke holes and you pour that mixture over it, and then you let it sit. And you have to make it the day before because apparently it tastes better the next day. So I made that one, but I took a little bit of the mix out before um, I baked it. And I made two little mini fluted ones too. I'm totally gonna eat one tonight. You're welcome. Okay, so um the other thing was the apple cider donuts so i'm gonna go ahead and flip them out of the pan they've literally been sitting here for like an hour you're not supposed to let them sit that long so let's hope they still flip out okay so i'm just gonna take a cutting mat and flip them oh no so cool. there we go they came out uh-oh spaghetti -o. nope i just cleaned my floor too We'll check it out later. Okay, so look at these donuts, you guys. Look how perfect they just fly out of the mini donut pan. How fun, right? So you guys, did you know that there was such thing called um, apple pie spice? I just saw that and I thought it said pumpkin pie spice, so I was about to use that. And then I realized it said apple. So then down here, it tells me how to make the apple pie spice. It's just cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and ginger. So that was easy. I mean, all things I have in my um, my cabinet. And so that mixture is in the, um, the recipe. And then you also shake it. Shake what your mama gave you. You shake a little bit of it. I'm just gonna add a little bit more. My dogs, girl. I'm a killer, I'm a killer. If you find a dead dog, it's fine. I'm joking, I'm not gonna kill her. She costs too much money. I have too much invested at this point. I can't kill her now. It's like the last 12 years have meant nothing. I'm just joking. <laughs> hey, you want a cookie? Watch her run in there. Ready, watch. Who wants a cookie? Mm -hmm. Oh, hi. You're being very vocal today. Thank you so much. I'm not trying to pretend to cook or anything. Hi, buddy. Here you go. One for you. And one for you. Hurry up. Judge Judy's on. Is anybody else obsessed with Judge Judy? Just me. <laughs> okay. So now these are supposed to be warm. They're a little not warm anymore. Um, so we're going to see if the sugar sticks. So we'll just put a couple in here and just see. But I did make some already and they've been kind of cooling. So I'm making all this for my friends for Bunko tomorrow night. Well, not the chicken, that's mine. Um, but these donuts, because I know my friends love some apple stuff. I was gonna make something pumpkin-y, but then I said, so meh. We're gonna try this recipe because I've been wanting to try it. All right, look at this, you guys. So I doubled the recipe, that's why I have so many. Look at that, look. I can't eat another one, don't make me. I already had three. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick these guys under here. Actually, I'm gonna stick them right up here again. So I'm gonna take these out. So you guys, that's what I've been up to today. Um, this pressure cooker thingamajiggy is still pressurizing. Is that a word? I don't know, I just made it up. <laughs> Michelle said to just lick the donuts a little if they don't stick. Well, I did, um, Earlier, they were not sticking, and I didn't know why, but then I let them sit in there a little bit, and the steam kind of created like a, a little condensation on the donut. So 
so it's stuck perfectly, but these look really good. I don't know, maybe letting them cool a little bit. Oh my gosh. You guys, there's, um, let me tell you what's in here really quick before you go. The donuts have oil, an egg. I doubled the recipe, so um, oil, egg, frozen apple juice concentrate. So that's this right here. Um, so I'm just gonna make apple juice with the rest of that. Or I might just freeze it for next time I make these. It's a good idea, isn't it? Good job, Christina. All right, um, salt, baking soda, apple pie spice, not to be confused with pumpkin pie spice, um, sugar, flour, and that's it. And then uh, this little mixture is more apple pie spice and sugar. Okay, all right, guys, that is all I'm doing today. Not that, like, that's not enough. Um, those of you that want to know about my car and what ate up the wires, uh, I have no idea because... Uh, Apparently the dealerships are all backlogged. So my car's just sitting at the dealership waiting to be fixed. Um, those of you living under a rock, I uh, woke up Sunday morning, my car didn't start. And it's a fairly new car. So um, opened the hood and something ate all the wires. So they gave me this rental car, you guys. I drive an Explorer, pretty big truck, right? I have a uh, Jeep Compass. I feel like I'm driving around in a go-kart. Like, it's so low to the ground. <laughs> and uh, it does have really good pickup. I will tell you, though, it is a brand new one. And um, it does this really weird thing where the engine shuts off if you're sitting too long. So that's exciting. Because I feel like every time it does that, I'm um, stalling out. <laughs> it's not. Okay, so um, anywho, that's my life in a nutshell. All right, guys, I will post pictures of this. Um, quick cooker recipe when it's all finished I'm gonna hide these donuts from myself <laughs> I'm gonna store them in some glass containers some leak proof glass containers um, and that's all I got going on you guys all right uh, tomorrow if you want to check me out some is it a hybrid no it's not a hybrid it's a limited <laughs> it's not a hybrid um, but tomorrow, you guys, I'm going to be quadrupling the Chipotle chicken nacho dip in the double burner grill pan. So if you want to see that happen, I will go live tomorrow. I think I might grill all the chicken. Well, I might do it all tomorrow. So, um, maybe tomorrow morning I'll be making that, um, or tomorrow afternoon. I'm not sure yet. So if you see me go live, come join me. Okay, guys, remember there's always ways to get our products. Join my team this month for $29. That's amazing. You can totally start your business for $29 this month. And um, it's a really great way to get started. Uh, and then you can earn all the uh, new stuff for free or half price. Um, you can also uh, host your own party this month. Sorry, there's like something going on outside over there. Um, so you can also host your part own party this month and um, get any item in the whole catalog or set 60% off. So you can get this quick cooker thing, which by the way, it smells really good um, for 90, around $90. Or you can go to my website right now um, and you can order a quick cooker. There's nothing wrong with that. Order your quick cooker. It'll ship right to your door by probably uh, mid next week. Um, so that's really cool. And when you do that, you'll get a free gift, um, which is one of the scrapers, I believe. Um, so go check out my website, pamperedchef.biz forward slash Maniscalco Kitchen. And uh, message me if you guys have any questions. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.